Good morning and happy Monday. It is October 5th, I believe, and it's our last full week, and the next week we have a short week, which will be nice. It's also our spirit week, so today's pajama day. No better way to start the week. And doing a little Q&A on Instagram this weekend, it came up that I've never tried pumpkin spice, so some, someone Venmoed me money here to try it this morning, but I'm gonna get two coffees because if I don't like it, that scares me. So, here we go. Okay, I did it. It just like tastes like pumpkin pie. Like I can handle that, that's fine. But when people start saying pumpkin spice and get all fancy, that made me real nervous. So, I can handle it. It's not gonna be my favorite thing, but it's, it's good, I, I can do it. All right, so Taylor, my student teacher, is taking over reading mini lessons this week as well, so I won't have to do those, but we are talking about fiction and nonfiction, different types of genres. So that is, I'm gonna put up on that big white bulletin board in the back corner of my room, and I'll show you what I put up the other day. All right, so I finally put up these Chromebook shortcuts. I did put them on TPT for like two bucks, and then I added a few more. Someone asked for split screen and undo, so I added those ones in. So if you're interested, I'll link them. And then back here is where I'm gonna put the genres and different types of genres for fiction and nonfiction, so yeah. Good evening. I forgot to record at school, so I'll give you a quick check-in. It's a really nice day here today. It's like 67 right now, so Reg and I are gonna go for a walk, but um, I have a really long driveway, so he just runs around until we get to the end, so I'll fill you in on the day until then. So he'll just run with this Frisbee until then. Oops, a little blurry, a little blurry. Reg, come here. Yeah. So yeah, until we get to the end of the driveway, which is that long, Reg and I will just play some Frisbee. And then I got his leash here for when we get to the road. All right, so Monday is our steam day where they don't have music in gym. So the last two Mondays, they've been a little bit more hyper. Um, in the morning just because they don't get to run around, but today they are awesome, which was great, especially since it was pajama day, so I thought they might be a little bit more, I don't know, pajama day is just always exciting, but they handled it really well. It was a great day. Um, probably one of the best days we've had all year. Um, someone had commented on my last video just asking about, I don't know, just kind of like discipline in general, and I've had some blurters that have just been like, I don't know, it's been distracting, obnoxious, exhausting, just, it's been like in between every pages of read-alouds, during read-alouds, during instructions. Um, so last week we started doing um, fix-it, like reflection sheets, so like whenever, it, like if they blurted, I'd give one warning, and then after that it was just like a non-verbal cue to, okay, go grab a sheet, you did it again, and then they had to take time to like say what happened, um, what zone, we use zones of regulation, what zone they were in, and then just say what they're gonna change for next time. And I don't know, I feel like when you stay on top of it and do it right when they blurt, that way they are in the moment and have to go do that and reflect right away, it helps, I think, because this week was awesome. End of that last week was improving and today it was great. So anyways, I think that that's a good way for like minor B things. Like I've been using them for blurting um, and like getting to the carpet on time. If like people are like dawdling, then I just have them do that because those are just little things, you know, but if everyone's doing them or if it's happening consistently, it just throws off the, I don't know, kind of the flow of your day. So today they were great at all those things and I feel like it has to do with those just because again, like I told them, I'm like, it's not like it's going home to your parents and it's not like you're in trouble for it, but it's just showing you that to help you reflect on what was going on. So. I think those are a good solution. So anyways, you can find tons of examples and templates for them online. Just search like fix it tickets or fix it plans and mine's very simple like what did you do? Who did it? 
who else was involved or who did it impact, what are you gonna do differently? So, um, but just having them fill it out and document it. All right, we're to the road, so I'm going to get this guy on a leash. He always has to do this. He freaks out for like the first two minutes of the walk and has to like walk himself, and then he gets over it and learns how to actually walk on a leash. Every single time. And now we're to normal. Perfect. All right, it's kind of a little breezy out, so I'm hoping you can hear me fine. We'll find out, I guess, when I play this back. All right, so long story short, it was a good day. Oop. He jerked up my arm that I was holding the camera with. Um, we talked about types of fiction books today for reading. We've been working on our personal narratives for writing. Uh, we worked on comparing and ordering numbers for math. And then it was our extra day, or our day for playground time because they had indoor recess. So those days always fly by because as soon as we came in from the playground, we had library because library is on our steam days. Um, and yeah, then we got back and it's pretty much the end of the day. So I read some of our I Survived book and they did some handwriting. So long story short, good start to the week. Tomorrow is sports day, so I'm going to find... I will find a way to wear sweatpants or sh like basketball shorts any day possible this week since it's our dress up days. So that's my goal for the week. Get to go to school comfy. All right, we will. We're gonna continue on this little walk here and I'll see you in the morn. Bye. Reggie is oblivious. Let's see if we can zoom in. See the deer about to go across the road? Just staring at us. See the little guy? Just no idea. Yep, I'm talking about you. Yep, let's go. I think I'm broken. I, uh, pumpkin. Do I like it? I was like craving it this morning. So, uh, no more judging all you guys who are like obsessed with it, so. Secondly, day two of sweatpants and sweatshirt to school. It's sports day, so we got NDSU, go Bison. So that's a great start to the week. Again, I'm gonna try to wear sweatpants all week. That's my goal. All right, I have 20 minutes before kids come. I got these Velcro sticky things from Amazon. I wanna put two, like one in the front, one in the back of their book boxes, just because, like I've said, when they walk by these, if a kid bumps this, like these ones are really chippy. If they have like a, they're on like the ends with a bigger book. So just help them stick a little bit. And then maybe for like the cactus and stuff, so those don't get knocked over. So that's what I'm gonna do. So let's do it. I think these are gonna work good because watch like like moves a little bit but doesn't fall off and these were we're having like two or three fall off a day so that'll be good and then i can still pick them up also these are super cheap on amazon and i don't know i haven't done this in my room new room because i lose my remotes all the time but put these on your remote and stick them somewhere as well your projector remote that is all like i'm gonna stick mine like right there Oops, that was cool. So maybe don't put it on the battery part. Shh, grab it, go. All right, I took the one off the battery. Let's see if it's better. Boom. Yep, one, shh, click, on, back. Boom, perfect. All right, also one of my students made me a card yesterday and gave it to me with a Taco Bell gift card, and I love Taco Bell. So that was like the best way to start the day. So it's gonna be a good week. I can just feel it. 
All right, I'm gonna finish my coffee, enjoy these last few minutes of silence before kids start rolling in, and I'll see you after school. Hey, all right, Tuesday afternoon, nothing to report other than morning stuff took just longer than usual. Um, so math got pushed back, and I tried to rush a lesson, our first lesson on rounding, and it went awful. So there's that. But back at it tomorrow. Um, I mean, some of them picked it up, but I just tried rushing it way too fast before we went to lunch. So regrets there, but hey, that's part of life. Live and you learn, reflect, and learn from it, right? Right, right. Um, this afternoon, I like to, you know, get festive for spooky season. So I always have my kids work in a group to try to make the longest paper chain as possible. Um, so you just get a stapler and then just big chunks of butcher paper. And so you can make the longest chain. Um, so this is what they came up with. That's total, all of it. And I'm going to hang it up on our ceiling now to decorate for spooky season. Here's what we got so far. We did it all the way around the perimeter of the room, and then um, in this thingamajig, we saved some of the paper, and they had some strips already cut. So I said, like during indoor recess, if they want to work on it, they can. Um, just so we can fill in the middle part more. But yeah, getting a little spooky season. Get in the mood for spooky season. All right, since there's not a whole lot to report, I am going to say not one book box fell over all day today. These are Velcronum was the best thing I've done. So I'm excited about that. I ended up Velcroing these two, that way they don't get knocked over. Boom, and my cacti. That way they don't break. This is looking kind of dead. All right, maybe I'll have more to report tomorrow, but I don't know, who knows. All right. Peace out, though. Happy Wednesday. I didn't get a chance to hop on this morning. It's clearly a wacky Wednesday. So, yeah. Day three of three of being able to wear sweatpants. Two more to go. I have class color day tomorrow, which our class color is purple. So, make that work for somehow wearing sweatpants or, like, athletic shorts. And Friday's our mascot, which is the Laker day. So, I can totally pull that one off then. So, it's a good week. Um, Let's see. I feel like the only thing I can really fill you in on is like math and word work because that's what I'm teaching. Um, Taylor, my student teacher, has been doing her reading lessons this week and it's been on like characters, um, their feelings and um, finding evidence to support that, how they're feeling. So she's done two of those now and um, they've gone well. The kids are doing a good job applying it to their books. And for word study, I almost skipped the one today. It was alphabet, alphabet, uh, alphabetizing words. And they had them cut them out and sort them and then write them. And I'm glad I did it because it was just, I don't know, I think it's good for them to get the, that fine motor part in. And then also just, I think that's a skill that they don't use a lot, but it's good just to teach them how to be a problem solver and to think about words. So um, that went well this morning. And then I told you yesterday that our rounding lesson, I just tried to rush. So today we just kind of took a step back and we only focused on rounding to the nearest 10. And we did that for two and three digit numbers. And then at the end, I did a little bit of a challenge ones with four digit numbers. And I gave them three problems to try on Seesaw and almost all of them got all three of them correct. So it went much better today. So don't be afraid to step back. And um, I used a totally different approach. I used more of like a number line. I showed a brain pop video yesterday after this and um, just tried something different and it seemed to work better and just going slower and not being rushed. So, um, yeah, that's about it. Otherwise it was our indoor recess day. So some of the kids decided to keep decorating our Halloween stuff. Um, so I'll flip you around and see what they added to, added to that. But they did that during their indoor recess time and it's kind of, I don't know, it's looking cool in here. It's looking a little spooky. 
All right, so we got a few more chains. So we got some more in the middle. So I think if we get from like there to there, and then maybe from like there to there to there, kind of fill in the middle, it'd look real cool. And we have, well, I made this go, so I can't, that guy was me. We got some decorations in the window. We have some stuff hanging, a little ghost there. Um, pumpkin here. Yeah, just got some different stuff hanging up there. So, I don't know, I feel like it's looking pretty cool. We have this spider that someone made right when you walk in. A little happy Halloween there. So, yeah. Um, also, I borrowed this from my coworker across the hall. I knew we had this big old dictionary. Tomorrow, our word work lesson is on guide words and placing them in the correct, you know, area. So again, do we use dictionaries all the time? Nope. But I feel like this will be a good lesson for them and um, see how we used to look up words before Google and Siri and Alexa were around. We've also had to start talking more about what our hybrid plan would look like because the cases in our county are kind of rising up a little bit. I think it's kind of from Labor Day, just like, you know, because it takes the incubation periods 14 days. So after that, I feel like now tests are starting to become positive because I don't know how the whole tracking system works, but I think every Thursday they update them, but the numbers are technically from like the last two weeks. So long story short, we've been talking just in case we have to move to hybrid, what that would look like. And we would have at least a week notice to give parents and ourselves, but we just kind of planned out today during our PLC of um, what that could potentially look like. So it's not fun to think about. I don't want to, I want to stay in person. It's been awesome getting to know them and I have such a good group, but I know it's important that way we aren't freaking out if that has to happen. So if it does, it does. Um, last thing, just think, I was just thinking today, like going through our curriculum and stuff. Last year was our first year at the Fontes Pinnell classroom and it was so overwhelming. So if you're a new teacher or if you had a new series, just remember that it gets so much easier like the second year. I remember your second year teaching, you feel like you just know so much more. Second year at this curriculum, it's been, I don't know, just so much better and not as stressful. And I feel like I kind of remember the lessons. Like I said, this one last year, I don't think I even did because we were just so overwhelmed. We didn't, we skipped a lot and we didn't know where to start. And it's just been so much better. So hang in there. You can do it. The next year's easier. All right. I got to go figure out how I can wear sweatpants tomorrow for uh, class color day, AKA purple day. So peace out. And hopefully I'm wearing purple sweatpants tomorrow. All right, I'm back. I just got to, I don't know if you can see, it's really bright out. Just got to Walmart, because I want to see if they have uh, cheap purple sweatpants for tomorrow. Just realized this is what I get to walk in looking like. Awesome. I mean, I could take this off, I guess, and just wear this black shirt. Maybe I'll do that. Anyways, okay, see you tomorrow. All right, good morning, happy Thursday. Class color day, ours is purple. Wearing my old Best Buy pullover, because why wouldn't you? This is what I found at Walmart for sweatpants, but I'm counting it. So I'm like 50 shades of purple today. These are purple, right? Probably more maroon, but maroon's a shade of purple, I think. So successfully day four of sweatpants. Um, I got this from Amazon. I'm gonna hang up. We're talking about moon phases. I'm trying to do this really fast. All right, all right, all right. Moon phase clock. I feel like we always kind of just stop talking about them after we learn about them. So I'm gonna hang this up by my clock. So that's about it. Have a good day. Bye. Oh, and I can't stop getting these. So whoever, no, I, I can't. They're so good. I get it. All right. Another day down. Uh, one more day to go to successfully wear sweatpants or athletic shorts a week. I believe in myself. I can do this. Here's like a full on look at my nice outfit today. Oh, no, you still can't see it. Let's try one more time. There we go. Oh yeah, Crocs. Yeah. All right, teaching in 2020. All of the teachers got one of these today. That way when we have kids who are out for, you know, quarantine reasons or we're close contacts, when they join in through Google Meets because we'll send their Chromebooks home, we can set them on this and move them around. So this just came today. And honestly, this will be super nice. I feel like even after this isn't necessary, you know, like, quarantining and all that like whenever COVID's done just as like little extension to my desk area and I think it's yeah it raises up oh maybe not. oh yeah look at that Ooh. so that'll be sweet I'm excited so days when I'm not 
using it to have a student on there. Boom, I can use it as my desk, but no, we will be pushing some kids around tomorrow on this, so we'll have it ready, but yeah, that'll be sweet. And yeah, we practiced rounding today, and um, they almost all have found books now that they're listening to an epic, so we did that for every day. Like, they were all just like zoned into their books. I, I like, I couldn't stop. I felt bad. Um, so we did a lot of listening to books today, and then my student teacher did her lessons on, um, today was kind of like, kind of characters like intentions and motivations and stuff. So that's been going good. Otherwise, not a whole lot to report. So I'm gonna peace out and see you in the morning. Hey, hey, happy Friday. It's already Friday afternoon. I was just busy this morning. We had meetings during prep again, so I needed to get everything ready this morning and just didn't have time to do anything. So here I am, full week. Sweatpants and sweatshirts, we did it. Now we have a three day week next week, so yeah. All right, uh, it was like sunny and 75 today, so we had our extra outside recess time and we stayed out there a little bit extra just to enjoy the fresh air and end the week. Um, this morning, probably like the highlight was we, we've been working on personal narratives and today we focused on dialogue and adding dialogue into our narratives and they like rocked it. Like so many of them were so, I don't know, they just did a really good job and they, none of them even knew what like quotation marks really were beforehand. Um, so we obviously talked about like where and how to use them. And usually I feel like kids kind of struggle with that at the beginning, just like knowing it only goes around the words that the characters or the people are actually saying out loud and not just around random things. Uh, so they did really, really well with that. And I don't know, I was just proud of them for that. So that was highlight to end of the day. We did some rounding for math. Uh, my student teacher did her, kept talking about, um, yeah, uh, clearly I'm, ready for the weekend because I don't know what I'm saying. Anyways, so two thumbs up for the week. That's all I got. Uh, short week next week. Let's do it. Have a good weekend or whatever you watch this. Okay, bye.